Hey guys. It has been a minute. Okay, it's been longer than a minute. It's been five months. Look how terrible my nails look. So I'm just gonna update you on what's been going on in my life the last five months. So let's get on into it. Okay, so long story short, maybe I'll give you the long version. Six months ago, I was living three hours south of where I live now. I was working and I just wasn't happy there. I needed to move on, I needed to do something different. I've always had a passion for dentistry and for teeth, but there wasn't a high demand for dental jobs in the area due to COVID and everything. Everything was slowly opening back up and starting over and yada, yada, yada. So I applied to become a flight attendant and I got the job. So I moved my life to Arizona for a month and a half and I did flight school training there. I hated all of it just because like it was cool, don't get me wrong. I just wasn't passionate about it so I wasn't really having a lot of fun. The only reason I had fun there was because of some of the friends that I made. Shout out Malik and Gianna. Other than that, I didn't really love it. I did my in-flight training. I got inside the airplane and did more training on the airplane and my instructor that I had on the airplane was the best. He made me love the idea of being a flight attendant more. So I just rolled with it, just went with it. Um, <laughs> I got based in Northern Virginia. So I worked at an airport in Northern Virginia. I love the area, Northern Virginia is so fun. Um, but regardless of that, it just, is a very chaotic lifestyle being a flight attendant. It's, I didn't really have stability. I didn't have a nine to five. I was just kind of told, okay, you could, you may or may not fly somewhere today. And then, you know, I get called at four in the morning telling me I need to be at the airport at 11 for a flight to Texas. So it was just sporadic and crazy and just not for me. Don't get me wrong. I love being spontaneous. Kind of. I love traveling, but even my love for traveling could not make me love this job. I kind of hated the job a lot, actually. Like there's obviously good parts and bad parts of my experience, but overall, like I didn't love it. When I was a little bit younger, I'm only 21. I'm not, I feel like I'm, like, I'm so old now. Um, when I was in high school or right out of high school, I loved change. I loved doing crazy stuff and doing something different every single night. But I think now that I'm secure in myself and I have stability in different areas, like I have a boyfriend that I've been dating over a year and I have just grown so much in so many different areas that the idea of being spontaneous and doing crazy new things all the time is not what I want. I crave normality and stability and- New drinking game, take a shot of something every time I say the word stability. Orange juice for the children that are under the age of 21. A boring nine to five because I wanna be at home at night. I wanna be able to live with my cat. I want to sleep in my bed every single night and not be in random hotels with random people every week. So not sleeping with random people, I just around random. <laughs> that sounded so bad. With that being said, I'm not a flight attendant anymore. I found a dental job. I'm still in Northern Virginia and I'm a dental assistant at an endodontics office and endo is root canal. So he specializes in different surgical procedures. So it's not like a normal dental assistant that you'd see like when you go to your annual six month cleaning. It's a different kind of office. Regardless of that, I'm still very excited to get started with working. I'm just happy that I'm back to the boring nine to five life because for me it's exciting it's not boring so yeah that's where i'm at um that was a lot i tried filming this youtube video the other day just kind of to update you on what the frick i've been doing with my life and i started watching the clips and i hate it and i'll probably hate this too so if you're seeing this either i got lazy and didn't want to film anything else or I genuinely like this and the thought of me genuinely liking this content is very mm, unlikely so i probably just got lazy i'm not crazy i'm not going crazy i'm good i'm good i'm great you're good you're good you're good she's fine i'm fine i painted my nails the other day oh you guys 
I love a good acrylic moment. I love a good almond shape moment, but with <laughs> the, my dental assisting job, I cannot wear acrylics because of the gloves that we wear and my employer thinks that the nails will rip the gloves, which I understand, I respect it. And so I have a gel machine, which I've talked about before. And I painted my nails black the other day and they looked good. Like I have a little square, <laughs> they look really bad, a little square thing going on. I haven't had squared nails since, you know, ring dance in the eighth grade. And then today at work, we were watching training videos and I started peeling my nail polish off because that's what I do when I'm a little bit tired and a little bit bored. It was videos about insurance, so I I was paying attention. Um, but yeah, I peeled my nails off, so I'm gonna paint them again. But also I can't decide if I wanna paint my nails before I make food for dinner or after. I could make homemade garlic bread. Oh, I have my x-ray certification class on Saturday, so that's something to look forward to. Um, do you guys find me annoying if I say that I miss my boyfriend? Sorry he's my best friend, you know. Sorry I have a really good, healthy relationship with a human being. And I miss him a lot. He helped me move in. I actually, I'm in a new place. It's not cute, don't look. I have like a little kitchen thing going on right there. I actually got a lot, I got, I got this setup down here. It's not a cute setup, but I got all I need. I have a mini fridge, I have a toaster oven, I have a microwave, I have a hot water kennel, I have a hot plate thing where I can literally fry eggs down here, okay? I have a good setup, it's just not cute. Let's wash our hands and make garlic bread. We're back, garlic bread. Take your bread of choice. Typically if I'm gonna make garlic bread, I would use a baguette, but I don't have that with me. So we're gonna use whole grain bread. I actually used this bread last night for garlic bread with my pasta and it was yummy. So we're gonna try it out again. Okay, next we're gonna take our butter, okay? And we're just gonna put it on top of the bread, like so. And we're gonna butter her up. Butter, 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 butter. Next, we're taking our seasonings of choice. I have garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Anything with mozzarella cheese and Italian seasoning, seriously put it in my mouth because it's probably gonna taste good. Next up, your cheese of choice. I'm using mozzarella and I just realized <laughs> I don't have a lot of it. I just love cheese. And now we're just gonna put it in the toaster oven. Here's our before. She's beauty, she's grace. Just let it broil. Look at her, she's cute. Let it broil for a uh, few minutes. Honestly though, what I love about this room, it's a big room. I have the basement room of the place that I'm renting out. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about it is that if anything's going on upstairs, I can hear. I can hear everything. It's okay, it's all good. I love this place, I love it. I really do. But I have two closets. One of them is gigantic and I have a ton of storage space in the back for all my 50 suitcases, so that's great. And then my other closet is the fifth door. <laughs> this door right here. Um, and it's kind of just your standard closet. Yummy. It's ready. It smells so good. Okay, ASMR for ya. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Oh, really hot. Okay, so we'll update. I continued on with my night. I painted my nails blue. They'll look better when I have my spray tan. You know what I'm saying? I did an Instagram poll about my hair like a week and a half ago. And I was like, do I continue to grow it out or do I chop it? And the poll was split 50-50. So that helped me with nothing. But I am in one of those moods right now that if the hairdresser was open, I'd already be in the parking lot, getting out of my car to march through the front doors to chop my hair off. It's 10 p.m., so I can't do that. I don't know if I'm gonna be in this mood tomorrow. I don't get in these moods a lot. It's, it's rare. Maybe it's a good thing that they're not open because maybe I would regret it because I keep having these impulsive tendencies to just change my hair. And that's it. I don't want anything else to change, just my hair. But then part of me is like deep down, it's like, Hannah, don't cut your hair. Grow it out. This is the longest it's been, in, probably since I chopped it to begin with in 2019. 
chopped it in November 2019 and I've kept it pretty short since then. Ugh, I don't know. I'm like, do I want like long black haired Hannah? Because I dyed my hair black in 2019 too. When I chopped it, dyed it black and I haven't gotten a different color since. So I'm like, do I want to see what long haired black Hannah looks like? Or do I not care? I also feel like the long hair kind of makes me look a little bit younger. The short hair kind of gives me a, like, the Incredibles mother vibes. I didn't have anything healthy today. So I was like, you know what? I need to do myself a favor and eat some vegetables. So I cut up cucumbers and carrots earlier this week. So I had some cucumbers and carrots. I wanted, I wanted strawberries, okay? I wanted my strawberries. So I reach into my mini fridge, mini fridge, and ice just ice they were in the back of my mini fridge right under i guess the freezer area but i've had them sitting out for like an hour and they're still just they're frozen i don't even know what to talk about oh my camera's about to die i really want to get a spray tan i want to go get waxed and i want to get a spray tan and i'm doing that before i go to florida next week oh my gosh okay so i'm flying with united next Thursday at 10 p.m., okay? I called United Customer Service to see if I could switch my flight because I got it at 10 p.m. because I worked during the day, but he gave me the day off because of construction in the building. So now I have to sit around at my house till 10 p.m. and I tried to switch my flight earlier and the customer service guy who I could barely understand, it sounded like he had me on speakerphone. He told me that it would be a $250 upcharge. Sir, I didn't even pay $250 for my first ticket. So no, I'm not paying that. My camera died mid rant, but I charged it to say this one last thing, okay? Stay healthy out there. Have fun, live your life to the fullest, and brush your teeth because some of y'all are nasty. Okay, bye.